My name is Randy Abe, Cohort 5. Um, I work with Metro TV and I'm the host of Good Morning Ghana. I read about the DBA program and um, I loved what I read, the, the structure of the program, the faculty and the flexibility of it as well and the practical nature of it. I looked at it and I realized that that was exactly what I've been looking for and so I opted for it. Well, I, I think that the research fellows were, were very, very good. I mean, um, the, the hard work helped us a lot because as uh, busy professionals, we needed that um, support um, in terms of um, researching materials and all that. And so they did very well. I mean, they would even come to um, our offices or our homes to, to try and um, help us out with some of the things that we had to do. The faculty was um, very, very good. I guess that um, all the uh, facilitators and lecturers who came for the specific uh, modules uh, acquitted themselves very, very well. And um, we, we had a lot, a lot uh, uh, to learn from them and they imparted a lot to us. Uh, in terms of the administration, I think they did their, their work quite well. Um, Sometimes the emails reminding us of the fees were a bit annoying, but <laughs> they had to do their work. <laughs> I should think that it was in developing the conceptual framework. A lot had to go into it. And um, initially, it was a bit uh, complex, but um, as I got grips, I got my grips over it, it became very, very enjoyable. That actually painted a picture of what my work was going to look like. So the development of my conceptual model uh, conceptual framework was 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 a fun part for me. Well, I think there are two constructs that are used um, much frequently in Ghana, and um, it appeared to me that look, uh, these were things that were in vogue, and so it was funky or sexy for any organisation to want to take them up. And here I'm talking about uh, corporate social responsibility and then innovation. So here everybody talking about CSR, here everybody talking about innovation. And then reading through some literature, it appeared that uh, even organizations that, like the European Commission believed that uh, CSR fulfillment could lead to innovation performance. Uh, but there was very, literature, very little literature on it globally and in Africa, I couldn't even find one. So I decided to look at how CSR fulfillment impacts on innovation. Um, and I decided to choose the service sector of Ghana, the service sector being the largest single contributor to GDP and the biggest single employer in Ghana. And so I looked at it. Interestingly, uh, the quantitative part of my work uh, validated only three out of the eight hypotheses. And in fact, um, all the internal ones were not validated. But interestingly, the qualitative part of my work, which was a case study with MTN, validated all the things that the quantitative didn't validate. So what it meant was that uh, it doesn't cut across because uh, MTN is in the telecommunications subsector of the service sector. And so what it means is that something that is applicable in say banking and finance might not be applicable in the telecommunications industry. And so in applying the results of my findings, uh, people ought to be a bit careful. And it's also an opportunity for others to also zero into some of the subsectors in the service industry and then do research tailored for those sectors. Well, I'll say that um, I've had invaluable insights um, and experiences and knowledge and skills, uh, which will definitely uh, make me a much, much, much better practitioner. And um, it's, it's something that I recommend to anybody. Yes, who's desirous of having any doctoral uh, study.